Hello, this is going to be a updated no-nonsense guide for getting code mods for Bellnap without using a PC. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using CX File Explorer, but any other file explorer will do. Now, before we start, please make sure that you have all permissions enabled for your file explorer. I do not feel like getting spammed that your file explorer was not working, so please make sure that you have all the permissions on and that it is fully working where you can move stuff and go into your data folders as I cannot help with any problems involving your file explorer not working. But with that said, let's actually begin with the tutorial. Alright, so now that you're on your headset, you're going to want to go over to Mini Battle Lopes video on his guide where he has a bunch of links that we are going to be using. The first link we're going to want to go on to in his description is the Lemon Loader link. This will take us to the GitHub page where we can scroll down and download the Melon Loader Installer APK. So install that. When it's done, go into your file explorer and download it. Very simple. Once it's done, go over to main storage, Android, data, scroll down. And we're going to want to get our mods and saves and move them over into alarms. This is so we can move them back in after we're done patching because after patching our game, all of your saves are and mods are gone. So paste them in here. I already have everything pasted, so I'm good. Then go back over to main storage in Android and then go into OBB. Go in there and scroll down until you find Bone Lab, or until I find it, right here. And then rename it, and then put in a Q. This is so that the OBB files stay here, because after patching Bone Lab, the OBB files get deleted, I guess, or whatever, and they're unable to restore causing the game to have an infinite loading screen. When you put this on here, Lemon Loader doesn't delete it, and it's still there. And then after we're done patching it, we can remove that, so then it doesn't break our game. Then anyway, after you put it there, go back over here, go into Unknown Sources, and then go into the Melon Loader Installer. You can close that. And then, you're going to want to press on the Setup, and accept all of this. And then click continue. Then you're going to scroll down, find Bone Lab, click OK, and then click patch. Just let it patch, let it let it do its thing. Do not click on anything. Just wait it out. It will then ask you if you want to uninstall Bone Lab. Click OK. It's uninstalling Bone Lab. Then it will ask if you want to reinstall Bone Lab. Click Install. Wait a little bit. It then should say Success. Successfully patch the application. Click OK. Click Go Back. Then we can just reset this quickly. Go back over into your file explorer. Go back over to Bone Lab on the OBB, remember that, and then click rename, and then we can get rid of that queue, click OK, then it's back over to, it's back to normal. Now, then go over to apps and open Bone Lab. It will then pop up uh, this setting thing, just click done, and now it will take a little bit, so just wait again, wait it out, but eventually, it will load. If it doesn't load, then that means that you didn't rename the OBB and it couldn't be restored. And you have to redo it again. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But for right now, as you can see there, it opens. Now the shaders are going to be warming up. Now if your game did not load, please skip to the timestamp here and I'll show you how to repatch your game.
Once it gets to pre-warming shaders, Katja, we can simply get out of the game. Unless you want to wait it out, because after we do these few other steps, you're going to have to open Bone Lab again, and then it will say it's still pre-warm in the shaders. So it's your choice whether you want to wait it out or not. But now, we're going to go back over to our browser. We're going to go back over to the mini battle lopes guide and his description, and then we're going to click on Thunderstorm Mod Assistant, click Manual Download, then click on Bone Lib, scroll down, and also click on Manual Download. Once those two are done, we're going to go back over into our File Explorer, Downloads, and then you're going to see the Bone Lib Zip right here. Click on it, then go into Mods, and then hold on the Bone Lib Dill. Do not, this one does not matter. Just ignore that. I'm going to click move, go over here, go into main storage, and then you're going to see Melon Loader and Melon Loader Installer app. Ignore this one, doesn't do anything. Go into Melon Loader, dot com is stress level zero, go into mods, then paste it into mods. Go back over, go into downloads, the bone lib zip, go into plugins, hold on that. Click move. Go back over to again main storage, melon loader, stress level zero. Then go into plugins and paste. Back over here, and we're going to do the same thing with the thunderstorm, which is holding this move, going back over into mods and pasting the dill here. Back over into here. Back into plugins, move, and then put it in the plugins. When you're done, in mods there should be these two, and in plugins there should be these two. Then we're going to go back over and open Bone Lab. Now you're going to notice again it's always going to take a little bit longer than when it wasn't patched, but you just got to wait it out again. Quick note, if it asks if you would like to restore the app, never click restore and always click open app. Now if you're like me, it's going to say it's going to be pre-warming the shaders. Just wait for it to be done. It will be like laggy when you turn, like you can kind of see it. But again, just wait until it goes into the menu. Now, once you load into here, you'll then see you should be able to open your menu and go into preferences and you should see bone menu. That means you did it. But now, we still don't have our saves. So, we're going to quit bone map again. To quickly get our saves back, we're just going to go into main storage, Android, data. We're then going to scroll down, go into Bone Lab, Files, and delete these files. Just straight up delete them. When they're deleted, we're going to go over back into our main storage, Alarms, and then take the two folders, Saves and Mods, that we pasted into here. Click on Move. Then, go over back into Android, Data. Go back into Bone Lab, Files, and then paste them right here. If you have a lot of mods, it's going to take a while longer, so just wait it out. But then after it's done, we can go back into Bone Lab, Once it opens, you should be able to open your menu, and then you'll have the bone menu right here. And then you can go into Thunderstore. This is going to be how you're going to download code mods. Now, do be aware that some mods do require- Alrighty, and I kind of went rambling, so in short, 
some mods need to be manually downloaded and some mods need other mods in order to work. So it's best you go on actual Thunderstore before downloading some mods, but most of them are fine. But for the most part, you have all the uh, stuff you need. Now to get an actual mod, simply just click on the mod that you want, so for example the Portals mod, then click install, it will tell you to restart your game, then you just have to restart it, and then load back into Bellnap, and then it should be installed. Now, if your game was on an infinite learning screen and it didn't work, simply just go and uninstall Bellnap, and then go into unknown sources and uninstall the melon installer this is because it will still think that the game is patched and then when you try to repatch it after bone lab is installed it won't work and it'll say it will fail so simply delete it go over into cx file explorer and then re-download the apk that you have if you didn't already delete it and then once you have both of them reinstalled go into main storage and delete the melon loader and melon loader installer app Hold on them and just delete them. And then redo the steps as I said before, and then try again. What up, son? If you have any questions, I will be happy to help. But for the most part, I hope this tutorial did help you. If it didn't, then uh, tell me how, and I'll try to help. Fucking idiot. What are you looking at, huh? <laughs> you just got monkey bunk. Fuck are you looking at, huh? That's what I thought. But for the most part, you should be set to download any mods that you want. And now you don't have to be codeless. Pretty nice feeling, isn't it? Fuck you for Fuck you. Get out of here. What are you doing? And with that, your bone lab is packed. If this helped, please share it to a friend. And if you need help, feel free to comment asking for it. Now, enjoy this peek of me beating the absolute shit out of Ford.